If you're hitting the trail this long weekend, you might want to hear the tips in our next story. In some of Canada's woods, a big danger lies in the tiniest of insects, ticks. They aren't just a nuisance, they can carry harmful diseases. Health reporter Kim Brunhuber explains. Rob Manton used to go camping near Hamilton, he says, because there were fewer bugs close to the city. Then he got bitten. We were there with a few other families and I woke up one morning with a few ticks attached. He didn't think much of it until about a month later. And I had a week where it just felt like I had a really bad case of the flu. How, how many medications are you taking here? Manton was eventually diagnosed with Lyme disease. It's an illness caused by a bacteria that's spread by a few species of ticks. If it's not treated right away, it can cause long-term symptoms like fatigue and severe arthritis. And what we learned in class then was... When Dr. David Fisman was in medical school 25 years ago, he was taught Canadians could only get Lyme disease in two parks in southern Ontario or by traveling abroad. Now, he says, the ticks that carry Lyme have spread across the country from Nova Scotia to B.C. So it's important for both, both healthcare providers and the public to know that Lyme is a moving target. The best way to avoid Lyme disease is, of course, avoid getting bitten by ticks in the first place. Experts say stay on the path, wear long pants, and it may look dorky, but roll them into your socks like this. Use an insect repellent containing DEET. Move quickly so the ticks have less time to attach on you. And if you're with a group, it may be awkward, but inspect each other when you get home for ticks. So these guys are just hanging out in the grass, waiting for you to walk by. That's right and they wave their legs and they just grab on. Entomologist Antonia Guidotti says if you do get bitten, remove the tick carefully and, this is important, don't throw it away. Bring it to a public health unit or your doctor. Um, that tick should be tested and you should be monitored or observed for signs of Lyme disease. Rob Manton wasn't diagnosed until the disease became much harder to treat. Now, nine years later, he's off work and on long-term disability, all because of an animal the size of a poppy seed. Kim Brunhuber, CBC News, Hamilton.